first we discuss about the formal definition of as days we discuss about the architecture what are the various interfaces to the user and finally we discuss about what are the various artifacts hyphen as base has so as we discussed previously uh, the first part of our uh, the second part of our training would be as base so we are into second phase of our training we already discussed about the fundamental of data warehousing and dimension modeling okay let's see the formal definition of as base so as base is a multi dimensional database we discuss is extensively what is multi dimensional database we discuss about what is dimension and what is multi dimensional database graphically if you present it this is your multi dimensional database view where are where in this example there are three dimensions one dimension is called time second dimension is called province or your region and third dimension your store manager the intersection of three dimension is your data so this is your graphical presentation of your as base view you may have four dimension as well five dimension depends upon what your business require but the more dimension you have the bigger your cube is and finally why why do we create a multi dimensional database the overall purpose to enable your business user to identify some important trends and business information from the your data right to so extracting required information from your a pile of data putting into pop proper trend is what we talk about in the overall purpose of creating as the solution to so give giving a multiple views to the data so that people can identify what is required information and next is define a multiple level of consolidation level different level of the hierarchy example of consolidation over here is that for a time dimension the consolidation level is year quarter month week days or even minutes depends upon the the granularity of data business require similarly you can see the example of product category for product line family category and sub category so this information we ideally fetch from your transactional system and most of the time it is available in your transactional system and then we build the hierarchy so as base design and manage hierarchy beautifully look at this example of time dimension time dimension hierarchy look like in a tree like manner year quarter month so advantage of doing this we can look at the summary and detailed data and as base is a database right it's a database so the basic functionality of database it has the basic functionality of database like it stores the data it it facilitate you to uh, you know read fetch the data from the source so it is actually a database but the way organize and store the data is a different okay when you build the hyphen solution there is one thing which we supposed to ask to the user to our business users do they need a business solution for reporting solely for reporting or planning and budgeting depends upon their answer we decide our first go if it is solely for reporting our path is different if it is planning budgeting and reporting if they need planning budgeting and reporting solution then we talk about block storage so the in the beginning of my session we are focus on this generic solution where my business needs and planning budgeting and reporting solution as one solution so we'll discuss about a kind of implementation called block storage block storage and aggregate storage there are two kind of queue so let's focus completely on bso in the beginning okay this diagram visit once again what we want to focus over here is as where does hypen solution sit into uh, as space fit into picture this is a diagram for complete enterprise data warehouse and you see my all hypen products comes after enterprise data warehouse it sits on top of this so data mart is nothing your as space cube we call in a generic term called data mart but this is as space cube so as this sits on top of enterprise data warehouse 
and provide two kind of solution. Either they provide for reporting, people use ASBEST for reporting purpose or they can use for planning budgeting and on top of planning budgeting there can be reporting further. So business user interact to us, the business user interact to us. We are the interface for them. All the layers behind the screen are not visible to the user. Therefore, anything goes wrong anywhere is finally pop up or get to know at uh, your presentation layer, which is your data mart. Okay, the life cycle of SBA, how do we build it? See, there are certain things before there are prerequisites they're supposed to be doing before even uh, start building your SBA SKU, right? The first thing, a couple of things which we discussed previously also, common thing, first we identify the source, identify the data source, what is your data source, you are going to build your solution where, so in general we assume uh, my data source, my SBA solution is building on top of enterprise data warehouse, right? My SBA solution is building on top of enterprise data warehouse. So we identify the source and then in the source we need to go detail level. What are the dimension? What dimension business need? What kind of facts or major they need? And second, what kind of aggregation people need? There are many questions. The category of user, who are my users? These questions answer our design methodology. So, first we create a database. I assume this is hyphen as the specific steps. Before that, we, we already did all these steps. On top of my enterprise data warehouse, there may be need of creating physical data model. There may be. Who does this? Yeah, this is your data modeler does. Suppose you are building a solution for uh, customer retention or customer loyalty uh, program you want to introduce or product profitability. You need all product information, customer information. So you request your data modeler to provide all the tables or dimension which pertain to the subject area. So they create a model physical data model and maybe logical data model. I tell you the example over here. Suppose this is my physical data model. We call it physical because these are actual tables. They are actual tables. Now on top of this actual tables as we discussed in a previous session Hyperion prefer to have a star schema. We might create a view which combine these two fact tables and therefore the model becomes simpler and this become a star schema, right? So it is possible that um, there will be need of uh, there will be need of remodeling it. So we can create a view to simplify the task. Overall objective is to, and then on top of this, we create a SDS cube, and finally your presentation layer and your user. So these are all the steps we are supposed to do it. There cannot be any uh, set of thumb rules say uh, use these approach to create data model. It solely depends upon what kind of business you are modeling, what kind of information you require. As we go further, we will talk about various sources, flat file, legacy system and your RDBMS. But this is a high level view. So under this, we can compare RDBMS and SBS cube. Most of you are familiar with RDBMS traditionally Oracle, SQL Server, DB2, Teradata, whatever and multi-dimensional server or OLAP server or SBS. We use these three terms interchangeably. What do we do in RDBMS first? We create database. Under database we create tables. Then tables has a property called primary key, foreign key, constraints. Right, all these things we have in your, then you have column type. Under table you create columns and columns have these properties. 
this is how typically we do and then you perform insert of data or load of data what happened in RDBMS corresponding to database creation we call over here application creation application is collection of database corresponding tables we have database corresponding to column we have outline we call dimension members dimension members and hierarchy and corresponding insert we also called over here insert operation you can see the one to one mapping between your RDBMS and your multi-dimensional database so it's the same thing most of the context but the names are being used different so the first step you create a database <coughs> and then we define a dimension building dimension so we need to identify what dimension we require then finally load the data performing calculation and report this is the life cycle we are going to follow as a part of implementation step by step okay so let's talk about the architecture model and what are the component it has okay when you install Hyperion depends upon the version uh, I suggest you to go with, go along with 931 I already shared about the video tutorial of installation Hyperion as space if you install EPMA or standalone depends the menu depends upon this but these are the components as base component now these are components um, in the old days it used to be a separate license for each component so when you get an opportunity to work on the previous version of Hyperion you find some of them may not exist but nowadays it is coming along with a package solution under one license you see all of them right let's divide all this component into three layers one for business user view and one for technical users the so first component and we put all this component to different category first is called as base administration services we also call this called EAS as base admin services or console as the name itself indicates a services or a console which allow you to perform administration on as base queue this is a basically a developer tool that is why I call this for technical user so this is a developer tool where people can actually work create cube actual operation of as base we do over here you can see over here as base administration services this is how GUI look like so as you move further I'll make you familiar with the various tools and menus over GUI as of now as base administration service is a console is an interface for the technical user this is a development tool where 